Hello and good evening. Uh, welcome to the Performing Arts Center. Uh, for those of you who uh, maybe, maybe don't know me, my name is Joe Barron, I'm the middle school principal. And before we begin this concert, where our students have put a tremendous amount of effort uh, into their pieces, uh, I do uh, unfortunately need to make an announcement about uh, our weather tonight. However unlikely, it is extremely unlikely that uh, we are to go into a tornado warning, uh, but we are on a watch and so we wanted to go over safety procedures and what would happen if we enter a warning. Uh, we uh, wanted to advise uh, everyone here, uh, if that happens, the concert will be over if we have to shelter in place uh, and end the concert, it will be over, it will not be uh, you know, restarted tonight. If you're on stage, you would leave your instrument on stage for the evening. Uh, and then you would meet your parent out in the uh, area out here. As a parent, you are only allowed to take your child if you choose to leave in a shelter in place. If you're going to exit the building and head home, that is your choice. Uh, but if you're going to shelter in place with us, meet your child, you're going to go down those stairs into the gym lobby. Uh, and then we will go into the hallway uh, where the training room is on the back side of the gym. Uh, the, assist, uh, the high school principal uh, and assistant superintendent is here as well. He'll be helping if that was the situation. Um, and then uh, we would then uh, shelter in place. We'd make announcements. And obviously, uh, after that, we would figure out getting instruments. Uh, if you are leaving, though, we would ask that you do not take your instrument. We'll get it tomorrow. We just don't want anybody to take the wrong case or to have to be searching the building for wherever those cases are. We want to make sure that everybody's getting to where they need to be safely. Um, so uh, ex again, extremely unlikely that we go into that situation, but we wanted to share that information with you all first so that we're prepared. The house lights would come up in that situation. We'd obviously communicate what's happening. If uh, you have a family member and you're wishing to shelter in place here uh, that needs uh, help down the stairs, uh, please come and see us. We have an elevator that would take them to the lower level. Um, and so we, we would make that happen if we need to. So again, uh, we, we, we want this to go off without a hitch. I think it's going to. It looks like the weather's south, but uh, I hope that you enjoy the concert. Uh, I know your ears have been enjoying the concert at home for many months, and uh, you're all waiting for all the pieces to come together. So without further ado, uh, the middle school bands are proudly presenting our spring concert.
Good evening and welcome to our spring concert. That was our percussion ensemble. They practice Wednesdays after school for about an hour and it's open to anyone in the building band program. As you see, some of them are really not percussionists. They're flute players, saxophone players, tuba players. So, seventh graders, love to see more of you in there. I hope you enjoyed that. Now we're gonna move on to our seventh grade band. And I'm super proud of this ensemble. They went to festival for their first time back in March, and they received an overall rating of excellent, one grade away from being a su rated superior in the state. Um, they've been putting in a lot of hours in class and working really hard, and they're really happy to show off what they've been working on.
in February, we had a bunch of, or no, April, we had a bunch of students go to Soul and Ensemble, and I want to recognize them first in seventh grade bands. If you went and participated in solo and ensemble and taught yourself the music yourself, stand up. <laughs> we sent 21 events and every event came home with a medal, either a superior or an excellent rating. And all of them taught themselves the music on their own. I did nothing. They were responsible for it, so I'm super proud of them because that's a really scary thing to do. And we're gonna showcase some of them. And our first ensemble will be Kyle, Ethan, and Jackson. Our next duet will be Owen Sweet and Jerrica Russell.
Next, we will have a soloist, Adora Hall. And we'll finish this section with Logan Ostrander. Before we play their last selection, last year we started a series of awards named after past Belding Middle School band directors. And the seventh grade award is named after George Russo, who some of you have, may have had when you were in band here. He was a great musician, a great director and leader for the program. And this year, our recipient 
Isadora Hall. A little bit about our next piece we're going to do combined. It's called Distant Thunder of the Sacred Forest. And you're going to hear kind of different sounds. It's going to sound like things might not be together. This is what the composer said about the music. Much of the music of Africa is based around rhythm, particularly in the forest regions of West Africa. Drum ensembles are common and play an important role in everyday life. Unlike the European tradition of melody and harmony, these ensembles rely on the layering of complex and interrelated rhythmic patterns as the basis of the music. Distant Thunder begins as the audience is surrounded with the sounds of various drumming groups representing distant villages. As the sound grows, a unified rhythmic pattern emerges from the onstage musicians and the first of two main themes is developed. Typically of African music, call and response patterns are heard between the percussion section and the rest of the ensemble. After a brief pause, the faster second theme starts to build one section at a time until the entire band is participating in a celebration of rhythm and melody.
Eighth grade, come on up. Seventh grade down there. While they are switching, we're gonna bring up our band booster president, Mr. Ken. Good evening, I am Mr. Ken. I am the band booster president. Who are the band boosters? Glad you asked. You are all the band boosters. If you are here tonight, you are a supporter of the Belding Bands, and therefore you are a band booster. We meet the fourth Tuesday of every month in the high school band room at 6.30. Please come. Um, the band boosters exist for a couple of different reasons. Number one, we want to provide a world-class experience for every student in Belding High School that wants to have that experience in musical education. Uh, I was just looking at a preliminary budget for the next year. It's somewhere around $80,000. That is a lot of money. In order to raise that money, we have to sell things like beautiful black t-shirts. Trust me. They are $22 at the swag table. For only $20, you can have an orange marching band t-shirt. 
Also available at the swag table are decals, wooden signs, popcorn buckets, candy bars, and really anything your heart could desire. All of this adds up to that $80,000 mark we need. The other thing that adds up to that $80,000 mark is student fees. Student fees are somewhere in the neighborhood of $400. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but that is the second thing the boosters exist for. We do not want that financial burden to be passed along any more than it has to be. How do you help? Glad you asked. We have fundraising opportunities available for individuals. There is, uh, we do vending services at Van Andel Arena. There is a lot of money involved in that. There is a program called Raise Right, where the purchases you make on a regular basis, they give you money back. It goes into your student account. You don't have to pay for it. Um, very, very soon, June 4th, I'm told, we have a blood drive coming up. How does that help? I'm glad you ask. You simply write your band student's name on this slip, available at the swag table, and you get $10 from that donation, when you give the donation, into your student band account. So if you show up, you get $10. If grandma shows up, you have $20. If your whole family shows up, your band fees pretty much paid for for the year. And more importantly, as Liberty Tice told me earlier today, every time you donate, you could save upwards of three human lives. And really, that's, that's more important. Um, last but not least, I just wanted to mention on July 26th, we are going to have a musical concert called Elton Ron. Our spring show this year is an Elton John-themed show. So we have a cover band coming in. It's a very good cover band. Tickets will be available, I believe, later this week. Please come out to that show. If you have any questions about band boosters, if you have any concerns about band boosters, if you want to know where that $80,000 is being spent, see anybody that has one of these white name tags. We would be happy to help, and if we don't know the answers, they will point you to me, and I'll just make it up on the spot. It looks like everybody's ready to go. Uh, I would like to say on a personal note, watching the seventh graders and the eighth graders, I do know that the future of the band program is a, a very bright future indeed. They are wonderful musicians. Give them another round of applause. Fourth Tuesday of every month. Before we do our first two selections, we had a surprise, but considering the weather outside, um, you're going to hear some voiceovers, and they say to evacuate, please don't get up and run like crazy people. <laughs> it was a really good idea until today.
What is this? Warning, this is not a drill. The auto-destruct countdown sequence has begun. Attention, the auto-destruct sequence has been disabled. Just kidding. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. You have one minute remaining to evacuate the building. Destruct sequence has now been initiated. Have a nice day. A little bit about this ensemble. They also went to festival for their second time this year. And in, for the first time in at least 14 or 15 years, they received straight ones and a superior rating. And that's a first for Belding in a very long time. So.
This group also had a lot of students participate in the spring solo and ensemble. And like the seventh graders, every single one of them received a superior excellent rating. So if that was you, go ahead and stand up and be recognized. And we are going to feature a few of them. We will start with our trombone duet, Caleb and Henry. Our next ensemble is Riley and Mackenzie. Thank you. 
Our next performer is Haley, performing Thousand Years. Our next soloist is Addie Krieger.
Our next soloist is Nate Calais. And our final soloist is Addie Miller. Before they do their final selection, their award, the eighth grade award, is named after Ed Klink, who is the first Belding Middle School full-time band director, 
many of you probably also had him or heard stories of him and the things that used to happen in the band room because he was pretty intense from what I have gathered. But also a great leader, very well respected in this community and it's quite an honor to be in the shadow of George and Ed Klink. And this year our recipient is someone who goes above and beyond, gets herself involved in every activity possible, was a member of the high school marching band as an eighth grader, and is just an all around really great person and fantastic leader, and that is Adeline Miller. We're ending kind of on a slow note with this before we do our combined song. Um, this piece is really special to me. It's, I kind of wanted a send off for the eighth graders since I have like two weeks left with them. It's called Gently Touch the Sky and I hope that their future is as bright as I hope it is for them. We have one more piece for you. Seventh graders, get back on stage. Eighth graders, out. If you hear your military song, please stand up. If you are Air Force, I'm sorry. They don't write that for young people, so stand up with your other favorite one. I promise in the future I will write the Air Force in this.
Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Please be careful driving home and enjoy the rest of your spring.